<sighs> Practice is over at last. Thank goodness, I'm shattered. Hey, you lot, don't you think Austin moves brilliantly? He sets up goals like nobody's business. Hmm. Oh no! Benny did an amazing shot in this one match. You should have seen it. He was like, poof, boom, blam, flying shot, boom. It was so cool. Really? No way. <laughs> Who could they be talking about? Could it be the focus of everyone's attention? Austin Hobbs. Who's going again? Bye. That was his contribution to this episode. Off he goes again. Why is it that he's the first one to leave every single day? He's not the only one who's worn out. <laughs> and to, two days later, even though it said one day ago that the trials were in two days, because Hobbs has gone home twice now. But, um, yes. So by the end of today, we'll know who's going to represent Japan in the World Championships. Yeah, and my team have been training like mad. There's no way we're going to lose. Ha, if you say so. Let's make this a game to remember. Of course. Right, let's head to Ryman. Let the trials begin. Just doing a little spot of grinding because I think my players being only, you know, level four... That's not good enough for any match, even one that you're not required to win for story purposes. I still don't want to be that bad. Isaac is a striker, but he doesn't have any striking moves. Great. There, all the players on my team are level 6 now, so that should be enough for a nice even match. Because as I say, you don't need to win this match. In fact... It's, it's kind of nice to not win it, if I'm being honest, because I like to see a genuinely impressive show from all the players on the pitch, because unless you've looked too closely at the artwork, I mean, you, you viewers who've never experienced this story before, you don't know who's on the team, right? I can remember when I was first playing the game, learning who was going to be on the team, I didn't know at this stage, so I was very excited. But anyway, it looks like some familiar faces have turned out to support us too. There's still time before the match begins. Maybe we should go and speak to them. Yeah, they have gone to the trouble of coming to see us play after all. Let's go say hello. That sounds like a good idea to me. Or maybe dodge this guy <laughs> with his face, his eye covered up by his hair. Doesn't look very nice. Don't talk to Sylvia, that'll progress the story. Badum, 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 badum. Your team is looking pretty neat, but one guy's playing off the beat. I guess we'll see him on the field, then we can tell if he's for real. Alright, now Caden Soundtown. This is my one gripe, right? Um, do you notice that there's quite a lot of forwards on this team, and not too many midfielders. There were a couple here, but Mark's team has even less. This guy's a perfectly good midfielder. I would have loved it if Caden Soundtown was actually part of the team. But I suppose we've got both Hurley and Thor representing Okinawa. And this is the guy I was mentioning before. In the manga only, he is a candidate for the team. But in the game, he's just not, you know. <laughs> And that, that, that royal guy, he's just here to support and talk about Caleb Stonewall as you do, because it is a bit jarring that he's playing on the same team as Jude Sharp, a guy who very much dislikes him. He's from Darren's team. Let's see just how skilled Isaac Glass is. To be fair, in his anime debut, he did like walk into the basketball court to show off his skills and he just from a standstill kicked a football into a basketball net so you know isaac glass is not bad 
but he's still got that Willy Brother reputation hanging around him as well. But we'll see how he does in the actual practice match. Hey, Tori and Suzette left messages for you. Here, listen. Ahem. <clears throat> the Football Frontier... No, not Steve anymore. The Football Frontier International don't allow girls to take part. I thought Inazuma 11 2 took a really good step forward by allowing girls to be on the team. But then this one just takes a huge step back and says it's boys only. I'm passing it off as being busy with the Secret Service. But no, the Football Frontier International genuinely is gender locked and there will be no girls on the team. Perhaps that's why Aphrodite from Zeus isn't here. They probably mistook him for a girl. But these are our candidates and we unfortunately have to lose six of them. Who's it gonna be? I'd love to hear some comments, some predictions in the comments. I don't know if we'll actually find out who the squad's going to be in the end of this episode or another, but probably the next one. So there's a good opportunity for you to say who's getting in, who's not getting in. Why are we here today? What are you hoping to find, eh? I told you, Luca. I'm searching for someone. Someone special. Someone who might be able to teach me a thing or two. <sighs> what could you learn from the players here? We shall see. Now, my formation is already set out. It's lovely to see an actual 3DS in the graphics instead of an old DS. That was a reminder that you can hold L and R to fire up. I'm glad it got that in there, actually, because, you know, there's. if I wanted to give a full recap on controls, it would probably take up the whole match, and I'd rather talk about this match in particular because, you know, six of these players on this field won't have any involvement with the story after this. And so I want to make sure you get a good look at everybody. Wow! These guys, they really are the best! They're amazing! Austin, look lively! Uh, okay! Yeah! Look at the two of them go! But how am I supposed to stop them? Come on, show me what you've got, Axel. Do your worst. <laughs> Come on, Axel, Jude. Give me your best shot now. Brace yourself, Mark. Ha! Do your worst. I'll stop it. You'll see. Ah, 
How'd he stop that? Stonewall's shot was slowed right down. That was... That, that was good, right? That's his first line in the whole game that's not just dot, dot, dot because I didn't pick Mark's team. Oh, well, I'll debut his voice good and proper later on. I'm trying to touch where I want the ball to go here, but no, you see, the blue kit is the real one you use in this game, and the white one is just the the old, the backups, you know, in case they needed to play in a different colour, which at no point in the game they ever have to do. At least Isaac Glass knows Flurry Dash. He's not got no moves. I do... I'm not that bothered about getting goals in this match because it's a nice just to have a run around and show off as many players as possible, but definitely want to at least try and score with Shadow so that you finally... You know, he's actually familiar to you all who haven't fought the Dark Emperors. There we go. Nathan gets a throw in. Nice contribution. It's like, yeah, if I wanted to give a full recap on the controls, it would take up this whole match when there's actually more than enough to say about this match alone. Here's Shadow's Dark Tornado, the opposite of Fire Tornado, except it's not really the opposite of Fire Tornado, because the opposite of Fire Tornado is Back Tornado. There's a lot of tornadoes in this game. Fair enough, Shadow scored against Mark, that's that's impressive enough. You've had your time in the spotlight, so let's put somebody else up front. Uh, well, you haven't got any shooting moves. Let's um, find someone with a good shooting move, because not everybody's got one yet. Um, Alright, we'll move Jordan to the front and move Isaac up there. That's goal! Of course, I can still score with Axel at any point I want. Nice to see Xavier's new design because he obviously looked like an alien for most of the last game, but he had a normal human appearance there as well, but his, his haircut still wasn't as good. Looks much better now. And so, that, that, was, that was the contribution from Marvin Murdoch and Samford. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see them again. But yeah, so as I said, I do want to see a couple of comments, just a few loose guesses, maybe avoiding the most obvious ones, and just have a, have a think. Who do you think is going to get in? Who do you think should get in, or perhaps shouldn't be in? Because I know that, yeah, when I first played this game, I... I yeah, go on, have a shot, Xavier. Ugh. I'm not going to use Banyan's move. I want to see Xavier take a shot. Too bad! Banyan got the ball! Anyway, if you are going to fire up, I'm going to fire up. The music for firing up is better than it was in the last game, but it's still not as good as it was in the first game. It never will be again. Three on one. Let's see just how good this Hobbs lad really is. Clearly not good enough. The ball's back with Samford and Murdoch right after I said we probably won't see them again. But um, yeah, so I will take a little while to talk about how this match works out in the anime. He says it is actually won by a specific team, which surprises me because I would have thought, you know, it could have just been a draw quite easily. But no, it's actually won by Mark's team. It's 3-2. And the goal scorers were Kevin, Jordan, Xavier, Axel, and uh, and one other. <laughs> I've forgotten. It wasn't you. Caleb doesn't get any goals, but there's certainly a lot of focus on him because he doesn't get on with the rest of the team that well, and it's a bit concerning. He's here in the first place. Oh, no! David Sanford's run out of stamina already. He's not going to get picked at this rate. You that go yeah, Todd, you've got Deceptor Dribble. All you've done in this game so far is complain and run out of energy, so you're gonna have to put the work in. But there we go, he's managed to get past Kevin. Could it be at Kevin's expense? I don't know, just just playing this match makes me think, yeah, I'm having fun. Cause this is really kicking off the story. Some of these people will get in and some of them will not, and it's so interesting to find out who those are gonna be. I think I see what it is you want from us. 
You want to see if we captains can bring out the best in every single member of our team. So how come that shot slowed down like that? Archie didn't have anything to do with it, did he? You're joking, aren't you? He couldn't stop a shot from my grandma. We're going to win this easy peasy. Puh! Why do you care who wins? This match isn't about winning. You just need to get the ball and show off your skills. End of. <sighs> Why do you always have to say things like that? Shut up and listen, all of you. We can't afford to lose focus in the second half. And we definitely cannot afford to lose. Yes, Captain! They look like they're having so much fun out there. These are supposed to be the best players in the country. Alright. <laughs> now we're all having fun. And then you're just like, These guys aren't very good. He can. <laughs> he can blimmin' do it. Blimmin' heck, Sean, you ain't mucking around, are you? Me hands are stinging like mad after that. <laughs> You've not been slack enough in the training department yourself, eh, lad? I'll get the next one by you, though. We'll see. Of course, I'm, I'm playing as, as Darren. He's my goalkeeper. I need to actually continue with the game. Right, Max! You think you're good enough for the national team, do you? Well, let's just <laughs> make sure you never play football again. Yes, you can actually play as a character with that move. And it wasn't even declared a foul. Un unsurprisingly, Jordan got past that Archer Hawkins, lad. Because, I mean, everything Archer Hawkins has done in the story so far has been a fairly decent contribution. But they still, the other players don't seem to make much out of him. Alright, I might as well go for a second goal. Let's go. Let's be classic. Fire Tornado. That's all we need. The only move in Mark's arsenal at the moment is the Fist of Justice, because I didn't give him God Hand. I couldn't have it anyway, because he wasn't even on my team. Yeah, unsurprising, that, that should stop Fire Tornado and we might get another chance. Hurley, you are trying to be a defender for the national team and you haven't even brought a defensive move to show off. Deary me. Right, well, Kevin's just dead. <laughs> um, You might want to pick up the pace, lad. Killer slide, but that's not a foul either. Most of Caleb's moves should be fouls, but they're they're not being. <laughs> He's getting away with a lot. I guess Hillman's really desperate to see what he can do. And finally he gets a foul tackling the ball off Max. For me, I would I think Max was the biggest surprise as a candidate. There's some in there who are Seemingly starting off as comic relief like Isaac Glass and Marvin Murdoch, but then Max is just kind of the player who's not really there for either. He's not there for comedy. He's not there because he really strikes you as one of the best football players in the country. He's just kind of the best out of Steve's mates. You know, I would have rather have Steve to be honest, but that's my initial reaction. We shall see if Mark, if Max, will make his mark. Okay, so 2-1, five minutes left in the match. If, in all honesty, I'd rather just give the ball away and let everyone else have a chance. Mind you, I suppose I haven't really showed off Jordan at all, but never mind. Sean's got possession of the ball. He can do as and what he likes with it. And by that, he's just going to 
kick it back to Kevin, who seems to... No, I take it back. I was saying he's got a bit of his energy back. Well, in all honesty, we didn't see that many special moves, considering this, the whole point of this was a demonstration of your abilities. I guess that might be enough to secure Hobbs a place on the team. But that's pretty much the end of it. Um... Oh, oh, I can... Oh, no. I, I did actually press the S button just to go for a shoot, a shot from as far away as I could do. But no, he's using warp drive to get past Archer Hawkins. Has he ever played football in his life before? He hasn't got a clue. And then the match is over. Nice way to end that one, Stonewall. What a win! Sack it up, losers! Yikki! <laughs> ah... No, we can't lose. But we can level up. And Todd has got Comet shot. That's a long shot, so should be quite useful. Great game, Jude. What a match. It was. Well played, everybody. Your passion for the game really shone through out there today. Um, thanks, Coach Hillman. I suppose I'd better put you out of your misery then. It's decision time. That's the man who was watching you practice earlier on. What's he doing with Coach Hillman? Man, if we have to wait much longer to find out who made the team, I'm gonna burst! The strongest of us will make it. It's survival of the fittest, just like in nature. You'll feel like a right idiot if you don't survive now you've just said that. <laughs> hmm, that's not very nice, is it, Scotty? To be fair, that guy did destroy several schools. You had chances in that game. Why didn't you take them? You could have scored. Um, why would you not take a shot when the goal was wide open? I, um... I thought it might annoy everyone if a newcomer like me hugged the ball. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, I've got to go. Bye! Dude, we're picking the team. Come back. He still wasn't showing us his best, eh? No, and the whole point of the game was for us to all do exactly that. What's going on with him? <laughs> 